Welcome back to the Zentense Podcast. My name is, of course, Michael Beck with Adam Nielsen and Robbie Veerhout. What's up, Robbie? Not much. I'm alive. Feeling good this week? I am. Feeling better this week, Feeling right? fine. Yeah. Medically speaking, I'm okay. Emotionally speaking? I'm okay. I You're guess. still okay? You have a All puppy right. dog. You can't, yeah, I got can't new, be sad. You do have a cute puppy you got dog. A puppy. I got a new dog. Got him yesterday. Yay. What's his name again? His name is Yancey. Yancey. Was that his name to start with? Yeah, we didn't pick it. Okay. I'm not going to change his name. It's two years yeah, old. Yeah, we did the same thing when we adopted our it's dog. It's just whatever. It's like, I'm, I don't care. You know, he responds to it. It'd be way too much work and confusion. It is way too much work. Screw it. Look. We can't all name our dogs after Top Gear cars. I know. Did you know that, Robbie? I think I did, actually. Yeah. My dog is named after Oliver, Oliver. from the Africa special, the Botswana special. <laughs> It's mad, fitting, yeah. It's a good. It's a car related name because he's that car's just so happy. It's a, yeah, and Ollie is very happy, nonstop happy, happiest dog in the entire world, all the time. Literally, yeah. I was, I was gonna say that about Yancey too. But. He's so happy, it's depressing. Yeah, because <laughs> you'll never be as happy as he is in that moment. No. Yep, your dog very happy. You'll never be as happy as at any point in your life as he is all the time. <laughs> that's the problem, and that's when life gets really dark. <laughs> This conversation yeah. previously led us to Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear? How did we get there? I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that's how it got, how we got there. And now we went down the road of the, looking at those memes the, on the internet. The funniest night in the entire world <laughs> when like my ribs hurt. I hurt the I next morning die. from laughing so hard. Was I there for that? I don't think I was. No, this Chaz was there. That was like there. the first time I'd ever hung out with Michael outside it was, of a racing. I thought I was going to die. Night. Like my, my sides hurt, my ribs hurt. Like people joke about, oh, I was laughing so hard. My side. No, like you I did. was painful. It hurt. The next morning I was I was <laughs> in pain. My abs hurt. But yeah, we found, anyway, we got online and some meme things happened. Cocaine Bear. Have you seen Cocaine yeah, Bear? Yeah, I've seen Hilarious. Like cocaine Kitty better than Cocaine Yeah, where he's, we found, he's standing in the snow and it's like, oh, the cocaine. <laughs> His eyes are huge. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's a picture of like a Labrador retriever and he's in the snow and his head's just kind of popped up and there's some snow on top of his head and it says, perhaps this is too much cocaine. <laughs> and that's fucking hilarious. <sighs> you know, for not even doing cocaine, we talk about it a lot. We do. We've talked about cocaine so many times on this show and none of us have done cocaine. Well, it's the drug of champions. It is. <laughs> right? Isn't that what all the champions take? I, I suppose all the athletes do all, mar- the, all the Olympians right That's yeah what all, they test all the for. athletes do marijuana and then all the champions do coke yeah. sure I'll take the word <laughs> for that maybe that's where I went wrong yeah never did drugs no nope. no nope. nope, pretty We're boring drug people that's alright kind that's of it. boring that way I know because podcast well not actually now I think it's different but it, it seems, seems like at the be beginning par for the course a lot of podcast people would do drugs or at least smoke weed. Same, same, with, same with us doing rollerblading. Everyone thought we smoked weed. So no, much. Hated it. That was common, though, because I hung out with the skaters in high school, and but they I know actually as many, were all smoking weed. I actually know as many skaters that didn't do drugs because of skating as did. Because they didn't want I it think to... you'd be surprised how many of them in that world don't do it because they don't want it affecting their skating. No, nah, I get that. Yeah, I get that 100%. If you're competitive... Were you guys well, competing? Even, no. You well, weren't competing? Against I, I, each other. I always sometimes. wanted to. I was never good enough. Really? Even yeah. like locally? You couldn't go to like a skate? Oh, we were, we were good there locally. Was, there was really no local competitions. Not even like Midwest? Yeah, in Sioux Falls, but there was like us to, and three friends. Yeah. Oh. No one showed up. Literally, like it was just me and Robbie and basically it was whoever didn't fall the most was going to win that. And then, yeah, the judges are like local people that don't know anything about rollerblading. So it's like, oh, so that kid did a front that flip. That looks cool. He Robbie won. did his flip. I'm, yep, yeah, it's yeah, over. We're screwed. Yep, Robbie won. That yep, looked pretty showy. Oh, well. That's how I broke my arm the last time. Yep. The third time. Third time? Third time. Was that the time you tried to walk home? No, that was the first time. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. The third time you did it. Well, I, it, I didn't I didn't go to the doctor for 24 hours. Hell yeah. I called, <laughs> I called my mom when I'm driving back to Sea City the next day, and I was like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was like, Just warming so I'm, her up. I'm in Lamar's. I'm, I'm headed back to Sea City. She's like, you want to go to the hospital with me when I get there? She's like, why? Oh, I, I broke my arm. She's like, are you sure? Oh, yeah. 100%. How do you know? I've done it before, Mom. I broke my arm. <laughs> I know the feeling. It's not I've a been feeling. in denial for... A solid 18 hours, but it's broken. I just need to give in. The pain is ramping up. The adrenaline's worn off. Every, every time he shifted, it was a little <laughs> bit more pain. So much pain. That was when I broke my hand that was real bad. I broke my right hand, and we were in 
Lamar's, which was 45 minutes from our hometown. Yeah. And the pe- person I was with didn't know how to drive a manual. And my parents were in Minneapolis at, uh, back to the 50s. And I knew that in my hometown, they would operate on me being a minor without my parents' signature because I was a... A regular. A regular. Yeah, you were the pa- you were a patient there already. They're like, oh, it, it's hey, Adam. We know Adam. What's up, guys? Yeah, small town Iowa. Yeah. Well, not even that, but just like because I was You're there on the all books. the time. Yeah. yeah. So, I drove home. Yeah. Before and then. What, what was this in though? My Cavalier. So did you do the left hand shift thing? A little ways. Okay. Because yeah. I used to do that in the GTI because I could talk. It's natural for me to talk on the phone with my right hand, which everybody can see right now. And then, <laughs> yeah, he's got his phone to his face. But in case I, you're wondering, for some reason, in the GTI, I could reach over and grab the shifter with my left hand pretty easily and shift gears. So like, it wasn't that big. Like, if I answered my phone with my right hand, which was my automatic thing to do, I was like, I'll just shift with my left hand then. I'm like stupid left-handed, so basically the only thing I do with my right hand is shift. I really want to drive a right-handed drive car yeah, sometimes so I can for shift sure. with my left because it's away and forward. That's the other thing. It's not a mirror image you know what no. i mean it's not towards you and forward it's a way and forward i think the way that we shift is a more natural feeling you shift you should shift away from yourself as you're shifting up i think that's a more natural way of doing it yeah I, I get that because yep. you're the gears you're going to want to focus on are going to be closer to you like if you're racing like two three four you know those are going to be closer to you on a six speed than they would be in a right hand drive car yeah you know what i mean yeah but i've always had fantasies like if i watched proper top gear I'm like, I, I could do that shit. I get the top of the leaderboard, right? Because that's what you always think. Oh, for sure. I'm like, yeah, I could totally get that away and forward thing. I'd get that down. Can't nope. do that hard, right? I almost, 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 when I was traveling to the UK for work, I almost got it lined up because they had the track experience where you could go do it. And it wasn't that expensive. I mean, it wasn't cheap, but I was like, I could maybe string this together and make it work. So you not, not expensive. The- <laughs> you got to drive a, yeah, seed. C apostrophe D. The C apostrophe D, yeah. That's so lame. It was like two laps. <laughs> it was like, all I got was two laps. You got a little instruction with a fake stig probably, and then they sent you out there for two laps. You don't think Ben Collins was there teaching people how to drive? No. No? No, it was huh. probably some you know, Weird. fat you know instructor <laughs> that they had found locally. The American? The American was giving you instructions. How but, do you like the other episodes? Grand Tour. Uh, two was terrible, terrible. dog shit. They should have just scrapped two. Almost unwatchable. They should have just loved scrapped the third one. They should have just scrapped two. Yep. Yeah. Just I'm cut, not sure. cut your losses and do something else. I understand what they were trying to do. Like He's like, well, maybe we don't want this show to be always all about cars because people like the explosions and the stupid shit that we do. I Turns get out, that. No. But it was too far. It was too far away. And then all of a sudden, there was an Audi A6. And you're like, what the fuck? Where did this come from? <laughs> I thought we were in a military zone. So bam, Audi. Didn't make any sense. Yeah, not too. They need to give up on the celebrity brain crash thing. I know that they're digging at the BBC still, but let's just let it go. But the third one was great. The third one was good. The trip through Italy, fucking hilarious. Oh, uh, Michael Balaban, who I was gonna write, I was so pissed off at him, the Jalopnik editor dude. Yeah, yeah. So pissed at him, I almost wrote an article to see if I could get it viral and out there, but I was too busy this weekend. Damn it, (laughs) he was being up bitch about that episode did you read Why? that no i don't read he's it. like it's all fucking terrible and i don't understand what the point is of this whole whole episode it's just a bunch of bullshit and i'm done with this i'm done with this fucking show i'm That's like fine we don't need you to yeah, watch it beat it nerd sorry that you are a half rate uh online <laughs> editor for jalopnik and nobody knows who the fuck you are and you're pissed off at the three biggest possibly the three biggest journalists in the world but definitely from an automotive perspective yeah so go be a oh I almost said that word I'm not supposed to say <laughs> <laughs> go be a dick somewhere else. But so, I, but why? Be, I thought it was hilarious. But why be was, pissed off about? It? He was pissed. He's like I don't understand it. He's like what don't you understand? It's exactly just classic. Those three. He's like back at it. I don't understand what they're trying to do. What's the point? I'm like it's the it's the name of the fucking show. They're doing a grand. They're tour. doing a grand tour. They're explaining to you in your small American closed minded redneck. Head Whoa. of what Whoa. a fucking grand tour is. Holy cow! Nobody knows what they are besides. I would assume it sounds like more of a British thing yeah. as opposed, maybe a European thing, but definitely a British thing. I guess I didn't need to. I didn't know there was a backstory <laughs> like that. I just thought 
you know, like GT cars, Grand Tours, they're yeah. supposed to be cars that are super comfy and kind of fast and just eat up highway miles. I didn't but, know that was the namesake for those. Yeah, things, I didn't either. Which is really which, cool. It was kind of cool. But even beside that, it was hilarious. All the shit that Hammond was doing, yeah, just pissing dick. James <laughs> off. Being a real dick. <laughs> just doing, he had the whole trailer full of doing donuts. Yeah. And, oh, God, it's hilarious. Yeah. I, I thought it was fun. That, that's what the show should be about. It's like, exactly that's the whole, what it I be, wanted it to be. The target age for that show, I mean, I know Jeremy Clarkson said some really inappropriate things because they can't stop him now, but the target <laughs> age for that show should be like 12. Yeah, basically. It's like Doctor Who. Have you guys... Nope. Uh, Katie's oh, yeah. into Doctor Who, oh, right? I've seen most all of the newer... The target ones. age for that show is like teenagers. Dude, there's some like genuine... Like, so I, I'll admit it, I'm a bitch when it comes to scary movies and stuff, but there's some that are like, well, Katie, you can finish this. I'm going to go... I'm done with this Because this is fucking scaring me, and I'm not going to sleep tonight because <laughs> I'm a baby. But that's a good target age because, you know, people can watch yeah. it with their kids. Yeah, anybody can watch it then. You can get the adult humor. The kids won't get it. You know, it's... And it's Top like Gear Pixar. worked. Pixar's real good at that yeah. sort of stuff. Top Gear was best when they were doing stupid shit. That's when it was most entertaining. So get off your fucking high horse, you half rate. <laughs> Do more rider. donuts and Hellcats. What's, what's not to like about donuts what's and wrong Hellcats? With it? it works for roadkill. Yeah, they're stupid popular. Anyway, hope yeah. number four is like number three. That was a Should not a even planned shape. segment, but hey, yeah. whatever. It worked out well. Speaking of which, segmenting and such. Uh, social media, you can find us at Facebook and Instagram at 1010s Podcast, on Twitter at the number 1010s Podcast, on YouTube, 1010s Podcast.com. That's where our store is. Click on store at the top of the page. Check out our dope shirts, son, including the new drift <laughs> shirt. Yo, so <laughs> dude. dude. And uh, now we have a Drive Tribe, which is. We do have a Drive Tribe. Grand Tour related. So if you're if you're on Drive Tribe, follow us. Check it out. It's Please. just 1010s Podcast. It's not that hard. We're going to give it a try and see what happens. We don't know what we're doing. Not a clue. We're I'm going to be honest right now, there. I'm just mostly regurgitating car throttle posts, but... If you're on there, you should follow us anyway. Or if you're on yeah. car throttle, you should follow us there, too, because we don't yeah, talk about sure. car throttle. We have so many social things that we do. We're horse. But we're not social people. Yeah. But that's why there's social media. I'm social on the internet. Yeah. I'm just social like inside. real people. Social indoors. I can be social from my couch at home by myself. Doesn't sound social on the face I am of the friendliest introverted person you'll ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most outgoing internet person you've ever met. I'm not or even not that, met, though. Cause not like, met, yeah, because you're inside. I think the most posts I've ever made on a forum is like 12. I can't do forum posts. I always tell myself, like, I'm going to start being more active on this forum, and then uh, I'll make a post, and I'll go back to radio silence for six months. I stopped with forums when the fan relay went bad in the in my Volkswagen, and it made the air conditioner not work, because that makes a lot of fucking sense. So the air conditioner... Happened to mine, too. I get it. But So I, I couldn't find it on VW Vortex... And of course, now the Hortex. There's no and course, useful information there unless you're looking for stance bros and flat bills. Well, this was years ago now, but anyway, so I posted on there. Nobody had a fucking clue what was going on. See, it's funny because I had the same problem. Made a post on a TT forum I was on. Instant answer. Really? Yeah. Super helpful. It was a fan control module. Yeah. Yep. Replace <laughs> that. And your your AC because my fans working. never shut off ever. They always ran. Oh, really? And my AC didn't work at all. Oh, no, that wasn't the problem I, mine had. My fans wouldn't run, and so therefore it wouldn't run the compressor. Oh, but it no, would my work. Fans, my fans never shut off, and for some reason the AC would never turn on. That's weird. Hashtag VW things. Terrible. Robbie, Robbie. Robbie's all about that life. No. Son. Nah, is, is your Rogue just a two-reg that you're hiding that from us? No, because it... You should get a two rag. There's, 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 there's or something There is like no check engine light on that car. It's, it's, you've it's, taken it out? because you've it's taped it up. Yeah, That's didn't fine. you see what he posted on my Facebook page? You just Actually, I posted that on his yeah. Facebook page and tagged you in it. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah that was... Because I wanted Robbie to see it, and I wanted you to comment on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw it. At, the best part was it actually was a Mark IV Golf. I didn't even realize what really? it was. Because I was like, God, damn it. That's yeah, that's spot on. I thought it was a BMW. Yeah, it was a it was a Mark IV golf because I know exactly where that check engine light is on that. <laughs> you know it all too well. It looked way too familiar. There's still a yellow blind spot in your yeah, in your vision when right. you close your eyes. The only reason I have that OBD two code reader that I gave Robbie yep. is because of the Volkswagen. <laughs> Does not surprise me. Just had to reset. You just get your phone out, connect it. Reset, reset that check engine line and go away for a while. Yeah, like, you know, for a minute or two and then come back. For a couple days and then come back. Oh, nice. 
damn VWs. True. You don't want it. Get a reliable vehicle. So where's the fun in that, though, Robbie? Look at all the stories those pile of shit cars have produced Actually, yeah. for us. The, and I, yeah, yep, for sure. I haven't even scratched the surface. You talk about all the fun times I've had fixing my car. And still, every time throwing, I see... You keep throwing that word fun around. Every I don't time think I see, you know what it means. Every time I see a Mark IV GT, I'm like, God damn it, I miss that car. No, you don't. I do, though. You don't. I do. Every time I see a TT, I wonder, does that guy have half as many problems as I have? Somebody rice or fly by fly by my work in a TT like yours. Nice. And I was, yeah, like I wanted to ask him questions. Like, does your life suck? And you know, are you happy with your choices? The reason he's doing flybys is he can't believe it's running and he's driving. <laughs> Hell right yeah, back. it's working. <laughs> <laughs> what do they run? They run great. But that was God the thing. Damn, like, it's not very often. He went by and I had that moment where I was like, I bet that car's really fast. Like, you know, I was like, <laughs> it's like. Wait Th- a second. That'd be kind of cool. No, no, this isn't. This is wrong. This is this isn't right. I get it. But the thing is, like, it totally makes sense. An all-wheel drive, two-liter turbo, turned up. It's good. It's a one point eight, but that's fine. Yeah, one point eight. It's good stuff, but it's not. No, it's it's terrible. Robbie just wants to do V eight things. Hell yeah, I do. I'm excited for V eight things. Two liter, five <laughs> five point seven. <laughs> Isn't yours bored Merca. over, though? Yours is rebuilt, isn't it? Or no? no? No. Oh, it's not? Oh, for some reason, I thought yours was bored over 30 Headwork. or something. Nope. Head work only? Head work. That's good enough. It yeah. doesn't make a huge difference. Boring 30 over is not. Yeah. It doesn't really do anything. Not, I bet it's marginal. not a noticeable difference unless you've done a bunch of other things with it. Nope. It's very true. So what are we doing this week? Well, uh, on... All of the social medias that we just listed, and there are many, we went out there and asked people to if they had any questions for us. Figured we'd try this "Ask Me Anything" segment. We got Did we talk about this before on the show? For those that don't do social things, have we talked about doing? Ask if me? you're not doing social things with us, you should really join in because, like, our Facebook group, our Facebook page is a lot of fun lately. And if you're not on there, you should be. Also, you should talk to us on there. Like if you're on there, well, that's what I mean. Like people, people talk to us all the time, and it's a lot of fun, and you should join in too. For sure, I think some people listen, and maybe they follow us on Instagram, but they don't like follow us on other platforms, or they don't follow us at all, which is weird. But I don't think they do. Not everybody, anyway. They should, they should follow us. They should follow us for sure. That's why. If you're on Instagram only, talk to us there too. Yeah, Robbie's the one running the Instagram, so I'll try to get back to you. I'm usually pretty good about it. (laughs) Try to get back to you. Come on, bro. I will get back to you. Thank yeah, you. That's a promise. Commitment. That's what I need from you. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie's always had commitment issues. That's okay. Yeah. He's got a girl living here now, so he doesn't really have many excuses. No, not anymore. He got wiser with age, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's quite possible. Can we, can we please do the Ask Me Anything, <laughs> anything questions? I want to make Robbie feel more weird, though. All right, let's get started with the Ask Me Anything <laughs> questions. So anyway, Start away, Robbie. So we're gonna go through the questions that everybody asks us on our social media, and we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of roll with this, see yep, where this goes. We just kind of add them to the list. There's no rhyme or reason to it. They're just that's the order, and that's just how it is. Some of these are gonna get weird. Good. Some of these are gonna be fun. I didn't even read all the questions because I didn't want to know them. So I, I read them and then put way too much thought yeah, into it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Responsibility. Thank you, Rob. Responsibility. That's what I do. Let's go, bro. What is your guilty pleasure car? Something that you love that you know everyone will make fun of you for. From Josh. Le Petri. Yes. We have like nine Joshes. That's right. We know that. Yeah, he knows us. We could say his last name. Who wants to start? I have two. Okay, go. My first one is the Scion IQ because I would buy that and I yeah, would drive that. Yeah, but we all love that exactly. car. So. Yeah, but everybody else would make fun of you for a Scion IQ though. <laughs> That's probably but it's true. it's fucking sick. I, I was nerding out about that car at a Casey's not too long ago. <laughs> was, was it like uh, some woman that's like, please get away from my vehicle? Like, it, it, was, it was like a burnt orange. I'm like, oh, this is so oh, cool. The, the burnt orange ones are the best fucking one. dope, dude. And yeah. Then, and then we're, we're, like, we're walking out and just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at it. It's so small. It's a Scion IQ. But you can put four that's people like, in it. That's like a conversation I have with Katie literally every week. Yep. She goes, I don't get it. Uh, and she does the same thing to Mini Coopers, so whatever. Why is it cool, though? Do we know why it's cool? But it is cool. It is cool. But why? Why not? Why do we like it so it's much? it's hilarious. I love that car. It's, it's, it's fucking it's, sick. It's, it's senseless so, and sensible at the same time. It's so many miles per gallon and smiles per gallon. Can you get it in a manual? I hope so. It's I might the have to smallest four seater car ever made. It's so small. Did you see the time that James May tried to put a uh, what was it, a Doberman or something in the back of it? A Great Dane. <laughs> great, yeah, it was, was something huge. I can't <laughs> remember. Huge. Some huge dog in the back of it. It was hilarious. No, I missed it. What was your other one? 
my actual one would be the FJ Cruiser. The new one? The Toyota. Oh, no. oh, so fucking gross. God. Dude. I, you, every I would time buy, I see a blue one with a white top, I all I can think is porta potty. Ooh. And now I've ruined it forever. Yes. Nope. <laughs> I know that. Fuck yeah. I know he's pointed what it out. What has been seen cannot be unseen, Robbie. Doesn't ruin it for me. I would still own the blue one. God. It's fucking terrible. I like the the new blue FJ Cruisers. Well, new because they don't make them anymore, but you know. Yeah, because they were terrible. New-ish. That's my. It's a fake off roader. Wow. I, I was could, trying to figure out what's something derogatory I could come out with with FJ, and then finally I figured out that people call them fake Jeeps. Yeah, that's which is hilarious. straightforward. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to think of something like way worse than that, but because I hate them that much, they're what? terrible. They're I don't ter- hate. I nothing that vehicle. I just think it's dumb. I don't like it. What I is don't it? hate it. It's just it's there. What does it do? I think that they can be kind of capable. But I think the problem is you could just go get a Jeep and it'll just No, but a Jeep's, gonna, a Jeep's not going to last anywhere near as long as a Toyota. You can't kill a Jeep, man. Yes, you, you can. No, can. I'm, Those, with, I'm with Michael on this one. You, well, they just, it's like, Jeeps a, are it's like a small block. They just kind of start tapering off to the point where they just don't make any horsepower anymore and they won't get out of the way. <laughs> they don't die, though. <laughs> they just don't die. <laughs> the only Jeep that's going to last is something you just pour money in. No. It's junk. Not, not a, Jeep is not a, a junk Wrangler. Vehicle. Not a Wrangler. Yes, it is. No. I mean, I hate a Wrangler. Yeah, one of my don't, ex- get, don't get this. One of my ex girlfriends had one. It was as a car, it's god awful. Yeah. It is a terrible car. Who would put themselves through daily driving that? It was an extra car that she had. It's just. You want to talk about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but they're fucking terrible. Even hers had a hard top, too. And I'm like, it's fucking windy in here. And we're not, we're inside and it's windy. <laughs> Why is this happening? It's what so, is going on it's here? It's so noisy. It's a terrible, terrible right. vehicle. What what vehicle would you you pick, Adam? Me? Yep. Guilty pleasure car. Does Dodge Omni count? <laughs> no. That's one. Can you give me another one? I was kind of thinking that. I was like, that's kind of bad, though. But I think the one I basically have to choose, because it's essentially the most hated car in the world, and I love it, the Porsche Panamera. Ugh. That's, I wouldn't even the go new one, I mean, The serious. new one looks They're good, everywhere, though. though. Everyone has them. The new one looks good. The old one I like the garbage. old one, too, though. The old one's terrible. I think the old one looks fine. I like the looks of the old one. I... I I think it's a good looking car. I would own one if I was at that income level. Ugh. But I don't know anybody else who likes them, so I feel like that's probably a decent answer. Mine's going to be obvious. Buick Roadmaster. LT1 Buick Roadmaster, <laughs> motherfuckers. 96. I want God, the Impala dude. SS, but people waiting. actually like yeah, those. People like the Impala SS. And they're expensive, which is crazy. But a, every time I see a Buick Roadmaster, like a 96 Buick Roadmaster, I'm like, I think it's kind of sick. Like, no, it's, it's <laughs> not. Kind of into it. You're all by yourself. Are you 65 now? No, dude. It's got it's got an LT1 in it. Hop it up. Sleeper <sighs> sleeper mode, dude. Sleeper mode. Yes. Yeah, Did you ter- see that some guy rolling on civics? One of our listeners posted on our Facebook page that he got a C4 with an LT1. He just that, wanted Michael to see it. Yep, I saw that. It made nice. me happy. People are sharing their LT1 things with Michael. That's good. That's how it should <laughs> I like be. It. So, I want. I want to see it. Should yeah, it was cool. T- somebody else shared LT1 things with us too. Yeah. What's that guy's name? I can't remember his name. I don't know. We get me up lots on of LT1 me. people. Hit me up on social media. I don't remember your, your name. My we get bad. lots of LT1 He has a uh, Caprice. Oh, yeah. He got a Caprice, and he put there was an SS badge on it. I don't know if he put it on there or somebody else did, and he says it's Ricer. But he sent it to us before then, too. Hit me up on yeah. our Facebook page, dude, because I don't remember your name. My bad. It's Speaking too many people. Memory. Roadmaster. Also, tell Adam and Robbie that Roadmasters are dope. They're not that They're cool, not. though. I you like could tow them. like five thousand pounds with them, man. That doesn't make Sick. it cool. You could tow a race car with. That's what I need. I need to get a little trailer for the Fiat and tow it with a Roadmaster and show up and just ball out of control. And I say, support. Fuck this. you guys. I support that. Man, I need an being F- super dope. I need an FJ Cruiser all the time. They hold no. their value. They're so fucking expensive still. I know they are, but they're dumb. Ugh. It's a bunch of dumb people have gotten together and decided that that's a good car and, and they get like, the value. They up. get like eleven miles to the gallon. It's terrible. Yes. That's it? Yeah. It's nothing. Dude, I'm going well, to be waving past you at the gas station <laughs> in the SS. <laughs> that's right. ridiculous. All right. What's next? That what was it, a long one. What is one of your must-drive racetracks? Uh, my favorite racetrack when I'm playing my simulators is Yeah, I can only relate Sonoma. to that. Sonoma? Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's a fairly technical track, but at the same time, it's got some... some more quick sections and I just really 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 enjoy that track even in a slower car that's still a ton of fun to drive on a simulator yeah of course I also went off of Gran Turismo 5 because that's you know right, what else right. can I go off of right. 
but I think for me it would have to be Fuji. I always thought Fuji was just like the coolest track. See, just like in the mount in the mountains. It is a very cool backdrop and stuff. I can see. Not that. necessarily for the for the track itself, just right. maybe the, the setting more than the track. And Fuji sounds like an awesome place to visit. Fair. I can't believe nobody else said Laguna Seca. That's too sure. obvious. <laughs> no, gotta, I wouldn't even say that. I didn't even think about it, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, Laguna Seca. You gotta, and I got to say Nürburgring, just say Nürburgring. Yeah, of Nürburgring. course. <clears throat> if Laguna, I was going to do Laguna a Seca. Europe track, it'd, I'd probably take Spa over Nürburgring. Spa would be sweet, for sure. Yeah, Spa's, Spa's a good be, answer. Spa I like Spa. That was, my, that was my second answer. Uh, Imola. Yeah. <sighs> But that's the crazy dangerous track. Yeah, people it's got that. heritage, you know. Just yeah, just I that get part it. of it. Plus, yeah, it'd be cool. Just to say it'd be you've cool. Done it. Yeah, it'd be cool to say I've been there. But and shit my pants going 200 <laughs> miles an hour down that sort of straight straight. The not so straight. The not so straight straight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what else, Robbie? Uh, when are you guys going to be drifting? AKA, when are your cars going to be race ready? This I'm is going for- to work on the car this weekend. This it's is scheduled. And I saw this question. <laughs> it's scheduled. Who, who posted that question? It's Zach. His Zach. In, his Instagram handle is uh, loves the French fries. Loves the yes. <laughs> Do love I'm, me some French fries. I am going to work on the RX7 this weekend. What are you doing to the RX7 this weekend? W- wearing it, wiring it. You know the nice uh, thing about about the Japanese and the Americans, they use different wire colors. That's nice. Yeah. So you can you can it's the white wire with the green stripe oh I have one of those oh, so they're not all brown not brown yeah oh, that's no fun which is really funny because the other day I was like did I make that up like are all the wires really that seems really stupid why would you have because I was talking to Spencer about it and I was like well, that doesn't make any sense you'd have all brown wires and then somebody posted on Facebook about how the Fiats all have brown wires I was like okay I guess I didn't make that up I'm in a couple <laughs> one two four groups as well and, and I have seen people say it oh it doesn't have brown wires you're all set Anyway, God, what do you got, Rebby? Um, I took a hit this month with all my medical expenses, so my car fund got drained because that's where all my medical bills or me- yeah. medical money comes from. So I'm about a month behind, but I should still be on track for April. We're going for spring. Yep, April, maybe end of April, I guess. But yeah, it's a bit chilly to be doing anything with those cars out there right now. Yeah, so we're talking wind chills below zero to tomorrow morning so hell yeah that'll be fun yeah, it was 16 this morning without the wind chill so but yeah uh, april is still my goal i'd like to have it re-raced ready by the time we could do a first autocross where's race. zach live do we know does he live in a place where I it's sunny all the time did not stalk him don't okay. have an answer sorry when are you going drifting adam uh probably never i still think him doing camera car stuff would be cool if i would let love us to do chase, it. chase car I would super his to car do it. would qualify if they'll let us do it I wouldn't mind doing that at all. Wouldn't bother me in the slightest. It's not like you're going to run into us like those other guys because, you know, they're trying to be three inches off each other. I don't want to be that close. (laughs) No. That's what zoom lenses are for. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Cropping after the fact. What's next? Uh, Zach also is quite the funny man. (laughs) (laughs) Are you mad, bro? I like it. He goes, uh, what is CrossFit like, Robbie? (laughs) (laughs) To which I say, I don't know. I've never been. But... But you're the CrossFit king. In case you're Hell one, yeah. But in my uneducated opinion about it, it's bad. It's taking fitness and turning it into a competition. And ruining it? Yes. I have a new CrossFit regimen for anybody who wants to CrossFit. Go on. So Monday afternoon about 4.45, I get a phone call from my boss telling me that some other guys who work for the company I work for have failed epically in getting a radio link that we have on top of a couple of towers to work again, and I have to go and fix it now. Climb your ass up that tower. At 4.45 in the afternoon this time of year, it's already basically dark. So I got off the tower about 6.30 Monday night in the pitch dark. And then I had to climb back up it again twice on Tuesday. It's 150 feet ish. Ish. Now, do you have to do this like a headlamp thing? I did on fr- on Monday night. Yeah, Man, that's not fun at all. But I know I'm out of shape. But motherfucker, you're just dying. <laughs> oh my 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 calves and my arms forearms still today burn. Isn't it windy? Yeah, that was That'd the other part fun, of the problem. That was the other fun thing. In order to not be in front of the radio in the direction it was pointing, I had to be on the side so that the wind was blowing in my face. <laughs> so what I had to do is I had to cover my face like this, because you can see that, take a couple breaths, hold my breath, move my hands, <laughs> do the thing, stop, put my hands over my face, because 
if I tried to breathe, it, it would hurts. get stuck in your throat, you know? Uh, oh, that whole deal where you're trying to breathe into the cold wind yeah. and it doesn't work. For all you Californians who don't understand <laughs> that, it's fucking It's miserable. cold as shit here. FYI. So, it's only going to get colder. Yeah. That was, we should totally add tower climbing to our CrossFit. Hell yeah. Too. Hey, wait a minute. I'm, fa- I'm fairly certain that's part of the circuit workout. They like you. Yeah, you climb a tower. You, you flip a tower. You, you right? climb. T- yeah, you flip you do things. They climb. You do things a fake. Yeah, but they're not. If it's pull up, they're not climbing high enough. If you do it a hundred times, I got a 350 foot tower. Just let me know when you want to climb it. I don't. We like, could start a super like sick CrossFit like company. Just when climb I was, a tower. That's what every one still, of them says. Oh, we could have a sick CrossFit. Then there was like ten in Ames. <laughs> sick, bro. There's like thirty in Des Moines. There's too many of them. Actually, I have a CrossFit story, too. So I was getting my leg worked on at the physical therapist. I swear to God, swear to God, the manager of one of these, I'm not going to say which, where, or anything like that. It's a physical therapy place. He's a CrossFit, he's a member at a CrossFit place, and the the words that came out of the guy's mouth were, because it gets him so many clients. (laughs) I was like, wait a second. Wait a fucking second. Yeah, he goes. Fundamentally, CrossFit oh. is flawed. Then, if a PT knows that if he does it and is part of the whatever it is club, I guess <laughs> he will get clients from it. That's about as genius as a chiropractor sponsoring something going on at Sky Zone, the trampoline place. Yeah, exactly. So does he just do like seven tenths? Yeah, probably. He doesn't do it full blown because he knows he's gonna like hurt himself. Hurt yeah, himself, right? And then he just when it's everybody dies, he's like, "Oh, I can fix this for you. Just come." That'll be thirty five dollars an hour. Yes. Fucking shit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway. That's genius. It is. It's genius. It's evil genius is what it is. Oh, God. It hurts so bad to straighten my legs out. You should go to the gym more. We'll get your, you back. Your quads hurt? This hurts right here? Right here. It burns. He doesn't even know what that's called. It's a quad. It's my leg. It's full it, anything below my waist? Leg. No, because that's a foot. Hamstring, oh, calf. Above my ankle, below my waist, that's leg. And then the foot. Knee, quad. Nah, it's all it's all leg. It's all leg to him. <sighs> and ACL, different different MCL. hamstring no, muscles. Who cares? It's all it's just leg. It's a couple a couple different Gym. calf muscles. I skipped leg day apparently. You did skip leg. Well, yeah, not Monday, but yeah, or Tuesday. God, what's next, Robbie? All right, this is kind of opening Pandora's box. I don't think he really realized it. <laughs> who is this from? Our good friend Don. Don asked us, do you have any friends who have crazy stories and lots of ridiculous cars and would like to talk about? I think that that might have been a hint. I would love to talk to him about some stuff. I'm, I'm afraid we can't talk about I'm a it. Little, <laughs> I'm a little afraid. I'm going to be honest, Don. I'm a little afraid to bring you on the show. My fa- I think that's what he's hinting at. Yeah. I think it'll just go downhill really quick and we'll end up in a weird place. My favorite Don story is something I know. I, I, was, never, I was not part of it. I was never there. I've only heard it through the grapevine. God, I don't even know what my favorite Don story would be, but it's definitely too inappropriate for I, even yeah, for this sure. podcast. I can't share it. For sure. And un- it's in- too inappropriate for an uncensored, <laughs> available on the internet, my parents explicitly listen- rated podcast. My parents listen to this occasionally, and I don't feel comfortable with that. I know my dad listens to this weekly. Does he? Uh-huh. I don't really- My little sister even listens he, occasionally. I don't, know, I don't know if he'd really even appreciate those stories. <laughs> it's not It's not even funny. It's so bad. <laughs> it's that... I Hell love yeah. them. I love them. <laughs> Too have, much to tell that story? I have told some of those stories to random strangers <laughs> because they're so good. I just can't. You can't tell I can't a bunch tell of it where it's on record. <laughs> Sorry, Don. We don't want any evidence. Did you skip one, Robbie? I don't know. Maybe so. skip down one. I, went, I would change some orders. Oh, okay. Never mind. Continue. But yeah, Don, I love your stories. I just, I, we can't share them. That doesn't mean we don't love you, Don. Yeah, we do love Don. Uh, this one kind of caught me off guard. I was not expecting it either. Um, what are your thoughts on the 25 hours of Thunder Hill outcome? And are you as excited as uh, J. Mason Carlson is about Flying Lizard taking the win? I did not follow it well enough to even know who that was. I I admit that. I follow Flying Lizard on Facebook. All right. You talk about it then. So I, th- I think that they're in Porsches this year, and last year they were in Audi, so I'm not quite as thrilled about it as I could have been. And I'm also sad because James didn't finish. James yeah. did not finish. J- yeah. James got 21 hours out of 25, That's which is no one. small yeah, so accomplishment J- in and of itself. Don't get us wrong here, James. Yeah, we love and support you nonetheless. But Kanga Motorsports. Yeah, James from Kanga Motorsports made it 21 hours, and that was what I was cooling following. failure. Cooling or coolant line? Something in the cooling. Yeah, system. it was a cool. I think a coolant line went. Ah, that's that'd be so frustrating. Get 21 yeah. hours and then something breaks. Something. Yeah. 
that's my, not even that that's major. my fear for endurance racing. It, uh, it's it'll be twenty one hours of excitement followed by four hours of drinking and anguish, heartbreak, and like six weeks of like. God damn it! God damn it! Just, uh, it'll, fucking motor mount, you know. <laughs> exactly. exactly. It'll, it'll be that one stupid innocuous part. Innocuous stupid part. Yeah, it's, it, that four dollar bolt is yeah. what killed you. Uh, I just bought grade eights. Team <laughs> Team Clearcoat. They they. Uh, they have their Maserati by Turbo it's lemons the craziest jump lemons car. car of all time. But the yeah. alternator mount on the block sheared off. Hell yeah! At Road America earlier wow. when we when they were you know we went and ate with them on their way through here. That's what I mean. They got it fixed somehow. But it's like they used, random. They used fucking two by fours and and stuff to fix it. But okay, can you imagine? Like now, what do you do? Where do you get a alternator mount? Or the bolt? No, the the mount in the block. Oh, the thread? There's a tab on the block. Oh, shit. For the alternator, if I'm understanding this so correctly. It was like a casted piece of the block? Yeah. And, and it, it broke it, off? Oh. <laughs> broke off. That's some Italian nonsense right there. <laughs> That's where you just bust out the welder and get it close enough. <laughs> Apparently, uh, they were pitted next to some guys with, a, like I think it was an E36 BMW. And in the time it took for them to remove the starter... On the Maserati, they had removed the motor in the BMW. <laughs> Good grief. That's rough. Ridiculous. I, I can't even relate. I think the closest thing that I've ever come to that, I'm a big, I went to Iowa State, I'm an avid sports fanatic when it comes to Iowa Robbie State Robbie does sports ball things, we don't. You guys can't I'm get it. I'm not sure what you, that is. You guys don't get it, but cyclone basketball is a big deal to me. Is that the one with the net yep. and the rackets? Nope, that's tennis. <laughs> Or pickleball or badminton or, you know, whatever. Okay. Oh, fucking badminton. Not Hell falling yeah. you, but anyway, okay. it's a sports okay. thing. So a few years back, Iowa State was in the March Madness NCAA tournament. Right. First round, they're number, what were they, number two seed against like a number 15 seed. Okay. Against UAB, University of Alabama, Birmingham. Okay. And they fucking lost. They the scored fewer goals. Yes. They, than the other team. <laughs> they did a re- grand slam. I remember. Oh, I, shit. I took. I'll I took, get you every time. This is the year that everyone like predicted them to be in the Final Four. I took half a day of work so I could watch this game at the bar with some friends. Oh, and the game kept going worse and worse and worse. And I kept drinking more and more and more. <laughs> so by the time the game was over, I was piss drunk. <laughs> and for like the next two days, all I could think of was fucking UAB. <laughs> they fucking lost to UAB. That's an, that would be like endurance racing. In fucking cool it line. Fucking cool it line. I guarantee you that's what he said. I get it. You brought it back around for me. It's going to be us in six months. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, everybody keeps, James keeps poking me. He's like, hey, bro. We're going to, we'll do it in April. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Josh Fettis, like, sent sent me this morning, sent me a a screenshot from the Racing Junk app of a lemon sob. Like, you want to do this? No. I can't think of anything I I would like to do lemons in less than a sob. (laughs) Stop it, Josh. (laughs) Moving on? Yeah, Yeah, what's the next one? In your opinions... This is from Instagram user Cruzy3. Or is it Cruz3? I always got that wrong. I'm, people know we can't pronounce names. No, so. I don't do names. So Cruzy3. Okay. What is the best swap? 2JZ, SR20, RB26, LS, stuff like that. I got a winner, but I want to go last. I. You go first, Adam. I, you got nothing? <laughs> I feel like this is a fairly loaded Omni, question. 2.2. But... I mean, just in general, if you're going to swap something into something else, it just makes the most sense to do LS things. It's it's Murphy's Law. What can go wrong will go wrong. So you take the simplest engine. If you put a 2JZ next to an LS, what's going to be more complicated and what's going to have something stupid break constantly? Well, the 2JZ is a pretty simple, straightforward motor, too. It's a big, big motor, it's though. No, turbo, you know, it's it's no, as soon as you turbocharge it and you, and you have to have, you're required to have a turbo to have any power... It gets complicated quick. I've learned well, that. Yeah, with the, that I have learned that, that with the SR. With I've sure. learned that with the SR20. Even unless you put a bone stock SR20 without putting anything to it, it won't run right, ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's been proven. It's been proven multiple times on this show. Two different engines never ran right on either one of them. I'm I'm hoping to prove that the LS that my theory works out this spring. It came out of a running car, so yes, it should be fine. So did the uh, SR20s. Okay. Yep. Never mind. How many SR20s have you rebuilt? Two. 
I've had three total. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah. What do you got for us? You got that shitty eating grin on your face. Like, you've just come up with the greatest answer of all time. I don't know about greatest, And but no one's going to see this coming. This is fucking curveball action here. Boost a swap. Ooh. That's a good swap. Ooh. If you can make it work and justify it, you can get a Ooh. overly complicated Dude, and expensive. I know a guy, and he's in Norwalk, I, know, I think. Know I know a guy. I this can't think go think well. he's in Norwalk. He's got a 500, the original 500. It's like a Fiat favorite. 500 with a Busa in it? Why has this never come up? <laughs> I don't know. That should have been episode two. Yeah, dude, he's well, he just started doing this Busa swap now because I think he had a different motor, and now, but it's going to be a mid-engine well, yeah. But no, the of... other one was rear engine. So the engine's where the back seats would be. So this is going to be really loud. It's going to be fucking sick. Oh, Can man. we talk to that guy about it? it? Sounds awesome. Yeah. I think oh. he's from like... I'm curious uh, as to like how like the transmission your... works and all that stuff. Yeah, he's got all that stuff figured out. I kind of talked to him about no it. No reverse. That's I can't remember what it was. No, 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 no. It's I got, think he's adapting I'm, it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta ask him more questions. I'll ask him more questions. I'll follow up. See, my argument against you would be that sounds complicated. It is complicated, but I think but if that you makes can, it better. If you can justify no, it, it, makes pl- it not isn't better. there a video of a dude that had a boost to swap five hundred that was doing autocross or something? It sounded like fucking the angriest swarm of bees yeah, you've ever I, heard. I, I, think I think it was I've a hill this. climb. It was a hill climb. Angry, yeah. angry, angry car. I don't know that it was. I think that. it might have been an X one nine. I think we're thinking of different videos. I think yes, there's, oh, there's lots there's of boosters there's, swapped ridiculous cars. There are out some there. sick X19 hill climb cars though. Yeah, but I'm thinking of there's this little tiny 500 that is just the most pissed off little car I've ever seen because it's got a Hayabusa motor in it. I'll try to. I find like that. your answer better. If you can I, make I would, it work, and it doesn't work in most scenarios. No, it has to be something stupid light. Yeah, and you're probably not going to be able to street it. No, it'd be the worst car ever to streak because you'd stall it at every light. But, but everyone's going to be like, that is fucking sick. Yeah. Nobody's going to be like, what did you waste your time with that? People will be like, no, I totally get it. And yeah. it's probably worse than a lot of other swaps, like fundamentally because yeah, like, as a car, it's there worse. Is, no matter what you put it in, there is somebody who's going to say that putting an LS in well, that yeah. was stupid. Or, But if you boost a swap something, everyone is universally going to be into it. They'd be like, how the fuck did you do that? That's <laughs> sick. I wouldn't go that far. Nah, it has to be a little sure. car. If it's a car that weighs like, like 2,000 pounds or less. Yeah, like an IQ Don't you or something. dare say that, Ooh. sir. That's the most ridiculous Ooh. thing I've ever heard. Ooh. Oh, like my it? God. He likes a Busa swap. I like that too much. IQ would be out of control. I, 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 I get it. What do you got next, Robbie? All right. Which of you has the best sloot magnet car? <laughs> this is from All Title Car Show, isn't it? Nope. This no, is also from no. Cruzy 3. Oh, Cruzy 3. Yeah, he really laid didn't he out, give us specific parameters, it. or am I thinking? No, he just said two forty six, one twenty four. Of the Romney. three of us, who has the best sloot magnet? I think Robbie. Yeah, Robbie does. Although I, Pin and Farina, I would argue that your little new convertible. Oh, the new one, the the, f- the new green the one, the race car Fiat. No, no, but the new Fiat, maybe. I could see that being because it's a convertible. girls like little convertibles. Girls I think they have this weird, this weird image of their head that we're gonna be driving through, you know, Napa Valley. wine country, yep. and she has a scarf on, you know what uh-huh. I mean, and the top's down. We don't live anywhere fucking near there, but, you know, For I think some that, reason, that's in her no, mind anyway. Like 15 she, minutes later when her hair looks, looks like, like it's shit. gone through a tornado, <laughs> right. and she's not thinking this convertible thing is so awesome anymore. Right. But that doesn't matter. She's no. already... She's, she's got that commercial, and, yeah. you know, I th- I think Hollywood movie. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. But if we're, if we're talking just the race cars, I would say Robbie's 240 is probably the best one. I, it's the best looking. Like it does get a, it does get attention like at car shows and stuff. And I remember going to Okaboji one Fourth of July, and I was just I was just there with a handful of friends just cruising, and I a couple of girls in this car next to me like we're facing each other just in tr- you know stuck in traffic, and the one girl goes, "You have an awesome car." I'm like, <laughs> oh yes, thank yes, you. I made is, a good choice. This is why I built this car. <laughs> <laughs> All of these hours and blood, All so of this much work, so much underglow. Just it. finally working. There was also that same night my buddy got busted, like pulled over, and I was waiting for him at the parking lot across the street. And he told that guy, he's like, "Tell your friend with that little shitbox car to turn his lights off, or I'm pulling him over next." I'm like, "All right then, <laughs> shut <laughs> that down. Lights are going shut off. down." Uh, the previous owner of my car, apparently, when he had it, it was nicknamed the Babe Magnet. Ooh. But I I think that that was, a, 
that was the a baby funny Megan. joke like like the irony of the situation not that not that it brought the ladies speaking of babies <laughs> okay this I'm comes not, from now I'm nervous this comes from untitled untitled car show yes where do baby race cars come from Adam, I don't know how to answer this. When a man really loves his race car. <laughs> when a car. male race car really loves a... Fi- Wait, yours was way worse. <laughs> Continue. I'm not going to... Never wrong. mind. I don't even know where to go from there. That was gross. <laughs> Two wrongs make a right? No, I don't think when they do. When a man really loves the idea of a race car, he builds one in his garage. Where do baby race cars It all from? starts as a dream. I- it's a, No, it's a, it, it's a, it's a go-kart. Right, that's a baby race yeah. car. Yeah, there you when go. When a man no, I would loves ar- his our child, he already has. I would he argue buys that a, a baby go-kart. race car would be like a your first remote control car would be your baby race car. So you get it at Walmart. You get it at Walmart. Okay, that's where they come from. <laughs> baby race cars come from Walmart. Either way, because my my kid's first car is probably going to be a Power Wheels, but it's also going to come from Walmart probably. So yes, that's Glad, where baby ooh. race cars come from. Glad we sorted that. Yeah, could have been dangerous. Yeah. Got got weird, but we. <laughs> We got past we got, it, Robbie. We, we handled it. We plowed through it. We handled it like men. Should I turbocharge or supercharge my BMW? Asks Ian. He did footnote. I'm supercharging it unless you can talk me into otherwise. Which means we need to figure out a good reason for him to turbocharge How expensive it. is it? When's the last time you saw a supercharged BMW, though? I think that's a more common thing than you think it is. I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's just it a... Is. I, I'm sure it's not a... A custom made part. I bet he bought it for the car. No, no, no. I mean, like, they're all BMWs are turbocharged. Like, all the 335i's are turbocharged. All right. You know what I mean? And, yeah. like, all the new ones are turbocharged. When's the last time you saw a supercharged BMW with your own eyes? I don't know BMW as well. I so don't know never. that I could list off anything that's not small block or Ford powered that was supercharged off the top of my head. So I think you should do a supercharger. It is more different, it's just a little bit different. I have made the uh, the profound statement that I like the supercharger wine better than the turbo. Noise. He didn't say what kind of supercharger it was. I would recommend staying away from root style superchargers for heat soak reasons, unless it's an intercooled one. These are details that we need to make this decision. Yep, yep, but are. I'm, I'm uh, fundamentally, I'm still going with supercharger. Unless it sticks out of the hood. Then you don't have to worry about heat soak issues so much, and I'm he, all about You know, it. to be honest, he didn't say if he was small block swapping it or not, so maybe he's doing, like like, drag he's doing a drag deal? wire out of his BMW, yeah. and, and that I approve of. So yeah. I think the answer like to this question- an 871 with a small block? Yep, the answer yeah. to this question is a 350 with an 871 on it yeah. sticking out of the hood. Problem solved. Carburetors. Carburetors, <laughs> two of them. Ugh. Eight barrels of pure Fuel misery. delivery. Eight barrels of pure misery. I say tu- turbocharged. Okay, thanks, Robbie. <laughs> it's too much underhood heat. It's not good. Um, what car did you buy on a whim, asks Blake Sabo. Are you looking at me? I've never, bought, a car- me? I've never okay. bought a car on a whim. Ever. I have. I bought the A6 on a whim. Wasn't really looking for it. It was just there, and I bought it. It was a terrible car. That's, that's what you get for being so whimsical. <laughs> Is that, does that fit? No. Yes, I think so. <laughs> no. Whim, whimsical? I bought my Escort on a whim, and that whim was, I went to we're, school We're still talking about cars, Montego. right? Montego. <laughs> hey yeah, that's, that's a different kind of Escort. hey I mean, My Ford Escort. Oh, Fair enough. Okay, so you, you bought your Escort at I school. was driving to school one morning in my first car, my 1970 Mercury Montego, Hell which yeah. somehow we've never actually talked about on this show. No. But that was my first car. And wow. man, what a fucking land yacht. That sounds but, awesome. Uh, I, I was driving down the road. And I was like, man, this thing's kind of running really high RPM today. Apparently, it decided it didn't want to shift anymore. And so I had to find a new vehicle because it wasn't worth putting any amount of money into that. So I just that, got an that Escort. That very next day, you bought an Escort? Uh, well, my dad had it given to him, and he decided I had to buy it from him. But that's a whole other story. I've heard that before. Yeah, I was going to say, it's only every, every story you bought a car from your dad. I mean, you need to stop buying cars from your dad. <laughs> that's the only car I've ever bought from my dad. Oh, oh is? really? You didn't buy yeah, the Escort I bought from my dad. Maybe we've talked about the Escort. No, before. my dad sells cars out from underneath him. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, I always true. owe him that's money, true. and my cars are sitting at his house. And he so just sells them. Someone's like, hey, I'll, I'll buy that from you. Sure. And then it's gone. <laughs> and the debt's paid. All right. Perfect. Well, doesn't that Fiat count as a whim? No, we were, we, were, we were looking for one. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. 
I've got a whole investment. I didn't realize you were constantly looking for new They're like fiats. tempests, Robbie. You're, You're always, always on the them. hunt. I've got a theory about the market. You got to catch them. Yeah, I, I think he's right it. about it. I got a theory on the market. I just saw one today. It sold for $12,000. I think if you have a very nice original specimen, yeah. because the nameplate has come back, yep. it's going to rise in value. Your race car is never going to be worth much more than it currently is. It's just a race car. But if you had a nice original driver, it's only going to go up from here. Yeah, like I said, I saw one sold for twelve grand today. I was Hashtag like, right. real journalist. I feel feel better about that. One sold for twenty five grand too, and I was wow. like, "What in the hell is wrong with you people?" Was that in the Barth? <laughs> no, it was like, it was at like a Meekum auction. It sold for twenty five grand, and it wasn't in a Barth. Nope, it was in eighty one. It was the same year. Oh my god! Yeah, was it like twelve miles or something? No, no, I didn't even have original wheels on it. It's like somebody just got a little carried away. Like two people were drunk, and they were just. That's how it always happens. I want it. I want it. I want it. And then it got up to 25 grand. And someone went, oh, fuck. And then they went to Fiat with what non, did I just with buy non-original $5, wheels. $5, Damn it. Son of a bitch. All right. Rom, or my friend Rommel asks, car care products. I enjoy waxing my vehicles. What are the differences in brands? And um, I guess is there good differences in, if, in the expensive stuff? Or do what do we think? I'm going to be completely transparent here. I don't know car care products that well. I used to know it a lot better when I was working at the body shop. I could have been able to tell you, yes, I would use this product. I would. This is how I would take care of it. This nowadays, not as well. Like my wax, I usually go with the that the orange bottle of new finish, the one year wax. Yeah, that seems. I use that, turtle wax. It's relatively cheap. It gives me good results. Somebody I, somebody told me not to use that, but I couldn't get a good reason why. Because somebody I told like them they shouldn't. And it's really easy. It applies really easily. Yeah. I think it's, it's that somewhat forgiving. Yeah. Car care products have a lot of these biases. It's kind of like you've talked about before with uh with fitness routines. There's lots of people out there who will say one thing and somebody else will say another thing that contradicts that entirely. And it's very hard to find a straight answer that's factual. Yeah. But yeah, I used to use new finish too. Now I use Mother's Carnival yep. Wax if I'm going to wax. Mother's makes a, an aluminum polish. I use that. I fucking love that stuff. It's great. Yep, if you got to polish aluminum. Yeah. I would say spot if you, and I think you can get this stuff at Walmart too, if you just want some decent car care products, I would just get Mother's stuff. I um, use so, Turtle Wax because it comes with a really nice applicator that I like. Yeah. I don't think you're going to go wrong with either one of those. I mean, no. You can spend literally as much money as you want to on car care products. You can spend $300 on wax. it's worth it. Not for a normal person, no. I think there's more to be said in the technique and way it's applied than the product itself. Yeah, very true. And I don't think you'll notice the difference unless you're good enough to understand the difference in the technique. Cheap wax done well is still going to look better than expensive oh, wax yeah. done poorly. Yeah, I, I always love seeing like your black escalades when the guy had no clue what he was doing. Oh my god, it's and so just, swirled. And like he's, it's swirled on and like he didn't even wipe it off. It's and just you're there. Like, ah, what did you do? <laughs> I, wa- so bad. I, I waxed my escalade today. You, you gotta wipe that shit off, man. Oh man. Did I, you use I, a rag that you drug through the gravel <laughs> before you did it? Yeah, did you use a rotational sander for that? What the, oh why does gosh. it look like that? You mean I'm not supposed to use twelve hundred grit sandpaper to remove my wax? Damn it. Yeah, on a pneumatic buffer. <laughs> I would say that the one thing I always use is the uh, the moonshine window glass cleaner. Yeah, that is dramatically is that, better than Windex. Is that foaming stuff? glass it's cleaner? The foaming. foaming glass cleaner in general is definitely the right way to go. Absolutely, yeah. so much better. Yeah, Windex garbage by comparison. And then I also for car shows, I always liked. I think it's I think it's Lucas that makes it. It's like a spray on wax. So yeah. Like, so you just, you take your your cloth and you spray like one little spot and you wipe it off. And you know, just get yeah. that little extra bit like that you wouldn't normally wax. Right. Yeah. Mother's makes a Showtime. It's called Showtime. That stuffs. Yeah. It's awesome. probably the same same, same idea. Sure it's the exact same so thing. I'll do that like with the uh, the carbon fiber panel and stuff like that's under the hood. Yeah. And I like the way that turns out. And I love my California car duster. Oh yeah, get one of those if you don't have They're one. They're awesome. Those. They're cheap. The California car duster and one of those absorber chamois that comes in the tube. Yeah. Got to have those. California car duster. Forgot about that. Yep. That's the a, dirtier that's, that's like, that's it is, tip. the better it works. I've got a couple Facts. of those. It's good stuff. I love mine. Use it all the time, especially since... I've been using it on my dad's vehicle since I was old enough to hold one. It's a problem when you live on gravel. 
So you can clean something really well, and the next day it's dusty. Yep. Yeah. Just, get a little, just swipe it down. You're good to go. Looks good. Every time I pull the Omni out before I go anywhere, because it's sat for at least a week. You get know? some dust on it. Yep. What else we got, Robert? Um, This one's going to take some thought. Three cars that you would own for the rest of your life, and what mods? So I think, decided, one, huh? I think we decided. I think we decided. Don't we want to do a show? I would, out of this one? I would rather. I, think, I, think I would like to research this and do a I show. I think this should be a full show. So I don't have who so wrote. So Chandler, we'll we'll come back to this. This might be a full topic. I we'll like come it. back to this one. It's kind of like the Dream Car Garage, but with more stipulations, and I like that. Okay. Okay. So this is another one I don't have a good answer for. What's your definition of a muscle car, sports car, or pony car? Also from Cruzy Three. So a muscle car, I guess, would be like your your traditional, like your Chevelles, like your big blocks. A Hellcat is a muscle car. Yeah. Yes. It's big. It's brash. It's, it's in ridiculous. your face. It's, a, it's, it's heavy. How much power can you get out of it? And how loudly can it be produced? Yes. It is a show piece. Not yeah. meaning it's not fast, but it's ridiculous. You're not going to corner. Orange. You're not going to corner in this thing. It's orange or green. You know what I mean? Or purple. Like Catch, think of get, Mopar colors. Like those are that's yeah. muscle car. Colors are red with black stripes. Blue. Chevelle. Navy blue is good, too. Even though it's not real poppy, it's yeah. very common Chevelle color, so, it seems. So very going in a straight line, ridiculous look at me, very loud. White heavy, heavy, loud, and white, yeah, powerful. White interior. <laughs> Hell yeah, white interior. Uh, I think pony cars are dead. Yeah. Pony I don't cars, know that I would say there's any current manufacturer making a pony car. Cause, yeah, that, that's pony like, cars originally would have been Mustang. The non-V8. No, no. I would, would it be the V8? V8s, it would have been V8s are fine there too because they're smaller than muscle cars, but they're not quite sports cars because they're not. This is relative, Robbie. Like, have you seen a Chevelle or a Monte Carlo? It's like yeah. a, it's it's like a land yacht. It's yeah, they're huge. they're big, they're huge. So, like a Mustang and a Camaro and a Cuda would have been smaller than that at the time in the sixties. Well, right. I understand I now, like a Challenger and a Camaro or a Mustang are all relatively the same size cars. Yeah. But the modern Camaro and the modern Mustang, I would put in the sports car category now. I don't think they're pony cars any longer. Yeah, it's kind of, it's just not really a thing. That line has been very blurred, and I, I don't think that it really exists as a category anymore. I think to have a pony car, you would need like a muscle car in that lineup. You know what I mean? Like if we had a, if there was a Chevelle... Which I guess there's the SS, but I wouldn't really call that a muscle car either. I mean, that, I, I would quantify changed. that as a muscle car. The SS? Yeah, why not? I call it a sports sedan. It does, I hate it that does term. twist, twisty stuff. It's got good suspension. Well, I wouldn't call it a regular muscle car. I don't know that it does any better than a Hellcat would. Having never driven either. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> don't really know for sure. But I, I guess I personally would not classify the SS as a muscle car. The SS sedan. Right. Yeah. No, that, yeah, that's not. I wouldn't call that a muscle car, per se. No. Hmm. So I, I would agree that the Mustang and the Camaro are sports cars, especially since they've decided to chase Nurburg lap times now. Yeah. And they're working on suspension a lot. I mean, that's kind of more of a sports car. Yeah, the Mustang's independent all the way around now and and stuff like that you know i think you can for sure cross shop like a brz and a ecoboost mustang so i think you'd for sure say that that's a i would cross shop a v6 mustang and a brz ecoboost makes a good bit more power and i think it's a good bit more expensive but i think the v v6 mustang and the brz are are more of a cross shop car i wonder can't you get an EcoBoost Mustang for like twenty eight though? I have a slightest clue. BRZ is fucking expensive. Yeah, it's too for what much. it is. It's it's too really much. expensive. It's very expensive. Because I looked at one in twenty thirteen and it was twenty nine. They're more than a Miata, I think. Oh yeah, definitely. And they're slower than a Miata. Yes, I mean, two sixty and in the quarter. And I think the Miata makes way less power. Less, a like little forty bit. less horsepower. But I think the biggest problem with the BRZ when I rode in one, I've never actually driven one, but I've road in one the thing i thought was that the gearing was terrible it needs a shorter final drive yep definitely and that's what kills that car that's one of those things people don't a lot of non-diehard car people don't realize make can make a huge difference you can throw all the power you want at it but if you have bad gearing it doesn't really matter yeah and that car doesn't because it they wanted a good highway mileage yeah probably they had to so does that answer that question Sort of. Yes. 
answers Sports it. cars handle. How about that? There you go. It's a, It has intent to handle. How about that? Muscle cars don't. Don't give a shit. All right, last question. The craziest Ford ever made, and this is coming from MLBRZ. Yeah, he's a car throttle Car's follower. Out. Okay. As we just shit talk the BRZ. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know Fords all that well, so my answers I have, are not super creative. Well, no, mine's not really either. I'm really looking at cars they made for here. Okay. But I have a, I have a, I have an answer and I have a reason. Go on. Ford Raptor. Damn it, still alive. I kind of figured that, but here's my reasoning. Any other "quote unquote" crazy car that Ford made, whether you look at like the GT500 or the Ford GT or anything like that, there were direct competitors for those cars made by other manufacturers. Yes. The Raptor, up until very recently, kind of stands alone. Yeah, because there's nothing quite as ridiculous in factory trim until recently. And nobody else has the balls to make one either. And that, in of itself, makes it the craziest thing Ford has made for the U.S. market. Yeah, I'd say so. Fair enough. It's hard to argue. Like, you know, the Ford GT, it's wild. It's crazy. It's probably, frankly, crazier. But so is a 488. Or an NSX or something like that. You know, those are comparable cars. Yeah. The GT500, pretty insane car. Tons of horsepower, just wild piece of machinery. Well, so is a ZL1 or a Hellcat. Yep. But up until very recently, what even compares to a Raptor? I still don't think anything it's compares to a Raptor. Uh, I was going to say, your, you can your get Dodge the, Rebel is, is not. It's just a trim package. It's not. A, no, they have suspension and stuff too. I thought we talked yeah, about that. Yeah, but it's not. It's not. I mean, I mean it's I'm not, it's not, relatively, yeah, I was it's, not, say, it's not. It's not even on the same plane. No, though. it's just like yeah, we jacked it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I suppose like the Colorado appears to be quite the capable vehicle. This new one they're coming out with, but it's it's not, doesn't make four hundred and fifty horsepower. Doesn't make the horsepower. Whatever, it's quite yeah. a bit smaller. So yeah, it probably still stands alone this, in, in itself. The crazy thing is they sell a lot of them. I mean, yeah. you see them all the time, but nobody they're else not cheap. Nobody else will pull the trigger on making a competitor, which. That's a hard, probably a hard business case to make. I mean, it's, I kind of get it's a, it's a, why. It's a seventy thousand dollar fun truck. I mean, <laughs> yeah. By the time you trim it out, oh man, I bet it's expensive. Because even even the, even the used one. ones, forty four thousand. It's crazy. Holy shit. Yeah, they're pricey. But I, like when Top Gear US tried to do a show, they wanted when Tanner Faust drove it, they wanted something else to go next to it, and. They couldn't come up with anything, so they had some guy skydiving out of a plane because that was that well. Was when, <laughs> when Top Gear UK did theirs, they picked a twenty five hundred HD uh, Denali, I think. That's apples and oranges, right? It didn't make any sense, no. but they yeah. spun it in the show because people in other countries probably like, oh yeah, okay, because uh, they're like, truck over it there. makes eight hundred foot pounds of torque, and they're like, that's a big number. It must be that's similar. A lot. Yeah, it's got the Z seventy one package. It's an off road deal. Oh, okay, sure. Nobody else knew. <laughs> Here in America, we're like. Those are two different things. Way different. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to jump that. I'll jump no, a Raptor. Hell Fuck it. no. Hell no. And I think James ended up breaking something on it. So it didn't, didn't finish. Didn't, uh, didn't Clarkson get the Velociraptor too? Yeah, he got the crazy Hennessy. Hennessy, Hennessy one. one yeah. yeah. I would say, since I was going to go with the Raptor for basically all the same reasons, I would say the GT40 just because... It was completely new. They went out and tried to beat Ferrari. At their own game? Yep. And the only way to do that was to basically start from scratch and then just spend the entire time going, fuck you, Ferrari, think about, until they finally beat them. Think about today. You'd never get away with that. No. Today. If, if, no. if Henry Ford, you know, I think there is still a Henry Ford. It's like, it's yeah, like the third or yeah. something. Yeah, it, it goes Henry Ford, Edsel Ford's his son. Henry the second is Edsel's son. There's Edsel the second. Oh. And I think there's somebody younger. So the than, third, maybe. I'm pretty sure there's Henry Ford the third right now. Okay. okay. I'm pretty so anyway, sure he's a guy. If he decided, okay, I'm going to go buy Ferrari, which you can't really do right now. Right. I'm going to go buy Ferrari, and then a dude named Enzo Ferrari, crazy ass Italian mofo, doesn't give a fuck. Kind of like Sergio would Sergio, do that. Sergio. Sergio would and, do. God, yeah, we he would talk about Sergio. We haven't talked about Sergio. And he, and he just goes, "Fuck you." One day. Like you're getting you're getting your business deals, you're doing all your meetings and stuff, having lunch or whatever business people do, and then all of a sudden he just goes fuck you, and then Henry Ford the third just goes well then fuck you, I'm gonna build my own goddamn race car, 
bitch and then beats you at Le Mans, like you never get away with that. Now. No, because it, it, it wasn't just like, oh, they decided to build a race car. They built an entire department to build it. They spent three years before they even were it's, competitive. It's the millions of dollars in the 60s just to show just up. Just to say, fuck you. Just to, Enzo to, just, just to go to give him the go to Italy with the middle finger in the air, yeah, and then win, and then that was, you know, and then they you know won three years in a row after yeah. that. But it's yeah. it's that's some crazy bullshit. You'd never get away with that. Would you believe if I told you I just watched a documentary on I was that this just week? Yeah. Say. <laughs> Robbie, how do you know all these facts? I read the book and then I watched the documentary this week, and I, I love that story. I really do. I think it it's is. Just, it's a great story. It's, it's a great. Think of all the wonderful things that have happened because somebody wanted to tell Enzo Ferrari to fuck off. Oh, I don't know, McLaren, Lamborghini, Lambo. the GT40. Yeah, yeah. That's all I got for questions. If you guys want to go, I got. One, I got one more question. All right. I was going to say. I know there's one more that came from Twitter late in the game. I didn't know if you were going to call that one oh, out or not. I didn't get that one. What about? The I one? know what it is. So. What about the one from Ian? I don't know which one you're talking about. I oh no, no 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 not that one. Sorry. Um, never mind. Let's just keep going. We can do that one next time. Okay. I got one more from, oh, from your Twitter follower. Okay. What is it? From the, what is it? I don't know how to actually pronounce that. It's like T S U, Sue to Sue drinker. Yeah. That guy? Yep. He asked, well, uh, if you had to, the stop dr- guy. If you had to drive a minivan, what would you drive? Oh, yeah. Now I remember. That's what it was. Yeah. He asked that. And I have a good answer for it. Okay. I oh, know. That's not a minivan. Okay. I have a on. damn good answer for it. Go on. You start then. So. Uh, late eighties, early nineties, Dodge Caravan two two turbo with a five speed. <laughs> I'm actually impressed that they have five speeds. <laughs> yep, they exist. <laughs> so fuck it. Why not? <laughs> God, that's gotta be such a piece of shit, though. <laughs> right? It's a terrible. There can't be a single nice one left. No, uh, the I would say that particular option package. If you can find an original two two with the five speed turbo. That car, that van is more fucking collectible than my Omni. Unbelievable. I I suppose there's only like six of them, so they're. But like, there's a bunch of guys that the, all of them that still exist have been turned into drag racers because it's funny. <laughs> there's like twelve second Dodge Caravans out there. Nuts. <laughs> okay, I got one, and it counts, and I'm going with it. And fuck you guys because it doesn't have sl- sliding doors. I don't the care. The Renault. Sp- no, I have one or whatever. No, it the is. Mercedes-Benz R63 AMG it makes like 500 horsepower, doesn't it? Oh yeah, for sure. It's sick though. I'm trying there to was, find information on it. Real there fast. was one I saw. This oh. is actually my nerd out moment. My most recent one. We were at the zoo here in Des Moines, <laughs> and there was one there, and I'm freaking out about this thing. And Katie's like, "What the, what the fuck hell is a weird problem? looking minivan?" It's like thing. there's like 20 of those in the country. Mercedes says it does zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds. <laughs> Wow, that's fun. Oh that's God, a, sixty-three I, would be the V8 by turbo. I'm pretty sure. I, yeah, no it's five hundred and seven horsepower. Yeah, in a minivan. In a minivan thingy. It doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look great, but you know, it's got five hundred horsepower for a minivan. I'd buy it and troll bad. people in it all day. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. And there is literally like less than a couple hundred in the United States. The interior is nice. I mean, that's what matters. And somebody here in Des Moines has one. And he goes to the zoo with his children. He goes to the zoo. And I presumably, when the kids get there, they're completely out of vomit because <laughs> they've just thrown up all over the inside. I wouldn't buy that particular. Actually, you couldn't buy one because when I'm looking at the pictures, it's got suede seats in it. Oh. How does that make any sense? Mercedes oh. is like, we're going to make a minivan. We're going to put 500 horsepower in it and suede seats. You know, if you're going to make a 500 horsepower minivan, it only makes sense to put suede seats in it. How does that make sense? You can put your kids in there. Because, First of all, kids are because kids, YOLO. Kids grind shit into YOLO. stuff anyway. And then they're going to vomit because dad's driving a million miles an hour. Because you know it's dads that have bought them because it's 500 horsepower. And they're vomiting and grinding candy into the seats. And it's just, it's not a good look. Can you imagine the. Uh, the conversations that were had at the dealership. No, honey, let's get the minivan. All right, what? I think they made like what's a, your angle? A four hundred, like an R four hundred. So I think there was a V eight one that was just a V eight, <laughs> and I think there was probably like a three fifty or a two fifty or something like that. Like there was a discussion at some point with somebody. It's like, honey, we don't need the twin turbocharged no, V eight. But there's there's a lot of women out there like they're not going to associate that. Oh, he wants a minivan. Why? Let's I'm just not go gonna, with it. Just go with. Just he wants the vehicle I want. I'm not going to argue. No, the real this, trick. This trim package is all he wants. The real trick would be to put her in the normal one, let her drive it around, and then when you go to pick it up, you pick up the 63. 
It's the way to do it. It's smart. Of course, you can't buy these anymore. But I wonder know. how many divorces those have caused. <laughs> <laughs> how many of these? Stop seen? trying to drag race civics, okay? <laughs> Stop. Do minibuses count? Can I get a VW minibus? Absolutely. A Westphalia? A Vanagon? Can I get that? Sure. That's what I would do. You oh. going to go camping or are you just going to hang out? In there? Just hang out. Probably put a surfboard on top just because. Just because it's Iowa? Iowa. Yeah. You going to get this off. floaty thing on the back of your GoPro to piss him off? Yeah, probably. We were in some local outdoor outfitter, and they have oh, yeah. those surfing backs to the GoPro cases. <laughs> and Michael's like, you think they sell a lot of those around here? I, I, they might for boating type stuff. It. it doesn't have to be used in a surfing scenario. But there was a surf video. There's videos of people surfing with the <laughs> GoPros and doing extreme shit. You could if you wanted. You could if you wanted to, but not in Iowa. It's not a thing. You could take it noodling when you catch your fish. Oh, yeah, but see, that's man, not what that's they, not they a thing were, in Iowa either. Though. They were advertising that's Missouri, isn't it? Missouri oh. noodling Oklahoma. when you catch your fish. Oh. What does that mean? You don't know what noodling is. Noodling is when you go fishing without any rods or reels, and you go into okay. the river, okay. and then you go where the catfish are like stuck between two rocks, just hanging in the bottom, and then you stick your hand down there into a hole, okay, and then the the catfish bites your hand, and you pull it out. You grab his his inside. And you pull them out, and they'll sit there and yeah, you're yeah, on your yeah. arm. He'll basically swallow your arm. My dad used to work with a guy who'd come in on Mondays, and his arm looked like he had gotten in a fight with a DA sander because they would tear his arm up. I have coworkers that do this once a year. People die. And lose limbs. <laughs> he looks so good. <laughs> Whole Foods sells you fish. You don't like have if you to want raise. some fresh fish, I would just go to Whole What's Foods. What's the manliest way to catch a fish? Exactly. Go to Whole, Whole Foods and pay That's for it. That's the pussiest way to get a fish. What kind of hipster bullshit are you yeah. talking just, about? You could catch a fish normally, too. Not it's be not nearly dick. as manly, though. Manly. You gotta be wrestling is, a bear is manly. The problem wrestling is a fisting a fish a is not manly. A hundred pound catfish? Sir, no, manly. sir. The problem you is are that fisting a fish that is not manly. The manly. problem is that do you know what else sometimes lives in those holes? Snapping turtles. Yeah, see, that's, that's how you lose not, a hand. That's stupid. Why and would then, you do that? If you're if you're in a deep enough body of water where you have to go underwater to get your hand far enough in the hole, and then you find that hundred and twenty pound catfish and he does not let go, you die. You drowned. It's a thing. In two foot of water. Cool thing about fishing rods is you can let go of them, and you're not in water when it happens. Like, I would do that. You're not extreme enough, Michael. I don't put myself in scenarios where I'm fisting a fish and have the potential of having my hand chopped off by a turtle. You've never broke anything. Have you ever really lived? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fist a fish. I'm just. I'm sticking to my can guns do, on that. Can we do the news? If you we're want, si- we're to, sick I of guess. you talking about how not manly you are. Let's do the news. Somebody seems very angry. I suppose we should move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So Nico Rosberg wins the national or the world championship in Formula One and retires. Says attack with it. I'm done here. Boom. Fuck you. Good on you, mate. Here's the mic dropped out. I'm going to go live my life, my millions. Hell yeah. Done. So he's he, going to do father things? He grew up in things? Monaco, so he's doing fine. I'm just, yeah. And it, I'm, I know Lewis Hamilton signed, like, what, a three-year, hundred-some-odd million-dollar contract. Nico's wasn't exactly any smaller. I don't no, know. No, probably not. So, I mean. His dad was a Formula One champion. Yeah, so this is what he's grown let, up in. Let's say so. he's got $100 million in the bank over the, over the course of his 25-year career. How many monies do you need? Let's ride off into the sunset and be happy with my gorgeous wife and my brand new child. She's not an ugly lady. No. (laughs) He's got, got what, two kids now? I have no idea. At least one kid. Yeah. So, know that. If you got a wife at home, a couple kids, you've got $100 million in the bank, and you're sick of traveling nine months out of the year. Yep. It's time to call it a day. Write it out. I don't even like traveling a month out of the year. I get it. I mean, he had a goal. He said, I, w- I want to be world champion. He conquered he did that it? goal. And he's not greedy. He Deuces. got it. He's got, he got, his cha- he got his championship. He got his goals. He peaced out. Nothing makes me happier than the fact that he beat Lewis Hamilton in the process. Yeah. The guy's I mean, kind of a prick. Well, that's the guy that beat him for the last two years. I mean, Those, do, you, do, you, do you any watching of the last race at all? I missed it. Or pay any attention to see I know, any post I, I, highlights or anything like that? I know that Lewis Hamilton. St- slowed down he sandbagged the shit out of yeah. him trying to bunch up the other cars so that that guy would have to or so that rosberg would have to fight for position yes to keep him out of the podium because all he had to he do was, was podium. Top three yep. all he had to do was podium and he would win yep i do remember that 
It was quite a race. It was pretty interesting. Yeah, because it probably would have been the most competitive race all season, considering how they would have been bunched up and every other race they're not. Yeah. But apparently Lewis Hamilton, like, repeatedly was told, do not do this. Yep, and he said, fuck that. I'm going for a championship, which I, I see both sides of that argument. But apparently there's a bunch of people who are upset about the fact that Lewis Hamilton did this because he he's always been that balls to the wall 100, 110% 100% of the time and all of a sudden here he is using strategy and being boring I I thought it was good strategy like he's trying to win a championship I, gr- I get it I understand he's screwing over a teammate to do it but in this you gotta it, do what you gotta it, do when there's two legitimate championships in Formula 1 which is the manufacturers cup or whatever they call it the owners constructors cup, constructors cup which and they then, which they sealed like two months ago yes and then they also have the individual and he's still ch- chasing that individual championship. Why wouldn't he? I think he flat out said, if the Constructor Cup was on the line, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, I get it. After that, who cares, right? Yeah, you do what you got to do to win. I, I don't have anything else. I just think it's good for him. I, I assume we'll see We him. lost a couple of F1 drivers. Yeah. Adam Jensen Cure. Button quit, too. I'm did he really? I yeah. Missed, I missed he's, think he's getting old, though. I think he's going to rally cross, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he is? I think sounds, I saw that something about fun. that. I think him... Maybe this is... Maybe I'm way fucking off base, but fuck it. I'm going to say it anyway. I think him and Mark Webber, who quit in LMP1, and a third guy are starting a Red Bull rally cross team. Fuck yeah. Hey, let's get could that... Could be way wrong on that. Let's get that shit on ESPN, yo. It is. It is? Yeah, it records on my fucking DVR all the time. What? When does it play? Like, at night? I don't know. It records on my DVR. I literally have no clue when anything I watch is played. I turn my TV on and go, oh, that recorded. Awesome. I don't have DVR. I can't remember the last time I watched live TV. Sports. Me neither, actually. (laughs) I watch sports. I don't... No, not a thing. So... What's next, Robbie? So Cadillac is going prototype racing again with some <laughs> random new driver. Some Hell guy. Yeah. Jeff Gordon. <laughs> Who's that? that? I was going to mention this with uh, Nico Rosberg. I expect him to dabble in racing here and there. Be like, that sounds fun. I'll race that. I'll sign that contract and race that race. I can race your prototype car? Fuck. Yeah, I'll do that. Well, a, lot of those, a lot of those teams pull, pull guys when they do the 24-hour races, yep. like Le Mans, because... You know, when they're doing six-hour races and stuff like that, they don't need as many drivers as when they're doing 24-hour races. Right. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see them in Le Mans every once in a while. Why, yeah, why not? There. I mean, it, it sounds fun. You only have to race. You, t- you take a month out of your schedule. You practice. You get back to top shape and get comfortable with the car, and you race your race, and then you go home. It's going to be a sick car. I, and I think it's great for Jeff Gordon. I think it's awesome. He did it. I don't know if it was for the same team, but he did. He raced the uh, 24-hour back in 07. So it's they're like, yeah, you want to come back and race with us again? I got nothing else I'm, going on. I'm, kind of, yeah. I'm genuinely excited to see him race this year. I think it might be kind of cool. See how good he is. I don't know. I didn't follow him closely enough to have any idea if he ever did well at the road courses that they race on or not. So maybe he's a very accomplished driver on, on that stuff already. I don't know. I think but. it's a good call for Cadillac. Because it's, it's a hell of a marketing plan. It is a hell of a marketing plan. It's good stuff. Fuck yeah. It's a good good marketing plan. And that, that uh, prototype car looks sick. It is dope, Robbie. All black. It looks it's fucking awesome. LT swap, yo. It's the new thing. Oh, God. The dead new LTs. New LT, not Robbie. Not his old LT. Uh, yeah, see, it's the new LT. LT. All I think of when you say LT is like, oh, God. There's three generations of LT, Robbie. You'll get this stuff figured out as you dive more into Chevy, but we'll, we'll get, okay, we'll get, we'll you, get, there. We'll get you there. We'll get you there. When are you going to buy a Chevy Cruze or something like that today? Hell yeah. No. Hell yeah, Robbie. No. Can you, you get an Envoy next? No. Why but not? I want to pick up. Can you get a Silverado? I, Scion IQ. Yeah. Get the Scion IQ. But I think Nico should... Uh, Following Jeff Gordon's footsteps, and just just dabble Nico in racing where you want, and Jeff Gordon on the same Cadillac team. Yeah, boom! Well, why not? Just a little fun. Just a little fun so on like the weekend. Two different worlds have collided. Yeah. in a third world. Yeah, I like it. It'd be good for Cadillac because you get it's to good bring for everybody. In, you get to bring in the Europeans into the Cadillac brand. You're bringing in the NASCAR. NASCAR. They're like, hey, Cadillac, and then you know you just kind of mix them all together. It's good stuff. In sports car racing, sports cars. So good luck to Jeff Gordon and his uh, retirement, which includes, I don't know, like six NASCAR races already. And yeah, he's the, doing racing. <laughs> Wasn't he commentating too, I think? Yeah, not probably. that that's not, I mean, that's a fairly standard retirement move. But Yeah, basically all the football players do it too. Yeah. Um, Moving on. 
Monster Energy is now like the title sponsor for NASCAR. Speaking of NASCAR, hell yeah! I, I don't Approved. know. I don't know if I'm into this or I, think it's the stupidest fucking thing. I think I've it's ever. brilliant. I think it's fucking brilliant. They had to do something because Red Bull's like just crushing them there. Yeah, Red Bull I think it's a great idea. all the other cool racing events, and then Monster's like, how do I? How do we get in front of everybody and just get name better brand recognition? Yeah, because that's what Monster needs. I don't. Well, but but look why at they? look at Red Bull though. I mean, yeah, that's associated with doing action crazy, sports. crazy action shit. Yeah. Gives you X, wings, bro. X at the front, extreme. You know extreme. what I mean? Extreme. No, Monster's more your extreme, like your your post, flat bills. Yeah, flat bill. Are you sure? Because people Raptors. No, because I always. Oh, I suppose when they I do, they do sponsor a lot of stuff already. When I here's how I would, motocross and stuff. Here's yeah. how I'll describe how, what I think of Red Bull versus what I think of Monster. When I think of Red Bull, I think of Travis Pastrana. Okay. When I think of Monster, I think of Rob Deerdeck. <laughs> okay. When I think of Monster, I think of Liam Doran, who got in a big cocaine fueled fight at Hell yeah. Got a Bill this year. Nice. So, I like how uh, Delopnik in their article, who, what's her name, Steph? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful writer. I think she's hilarious. <laughs> she referred to Monster as the official drink of Come At Me, Bro. And she <laughs> nailed it. Think of a better description of Monster. <laughs> You're going to go to a NASCAR oh, event, everyone's going to have their monster shirts on and their bedazzled jeans and their, and oh their, their, their affliction hats, yep. and it's going to be... Way too tan. Oh, it's going to be so with tan. With stupid tribal tattoos. That's oh, going to yeah. start a fight. And NASCAR just got getting, interesting. Yeah, maybe it is going to be interesting. It's gonna but be more not fighting. the race. It's going to be more... Well, no, I don't know. Maybe there's going to be more fighting. You know, you run into somebody, you get out, you start punching people in the face. No, no, no. The crowd is going to be fighting. And why not the drivers? Why not the drivers though? They just already, let them have it. They already do. It's that. like hockey. Just let them. Just let them go. <laughs> so what are they going to call it? Gloves, helmet. <laughs> yeah, throwing helmets at people. What's the order when you're monster when you're sprint? Is, 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 what, is, what was the other one called? Sprint. It was, it was an, a sprint an, cup. It's so a NASCAR, NASCAR, NASCAR sprint cup. cup. The monster cup. It's perfect. And they're going to dump a bunch of monster on people when they win. Oh, they're going to have monster the trucks cup. in the infield, like doing. They should have monster monster trucks they doing have crazy a, shit. Remember before we suggested that they should split it up into two 250 lap races? Yeah. Then they could have a halftime show with monster trucks. Why don't they just sponsor Monster Jam? Why don't they just pay us to figure because this out? Because who the fuck watches Monster Jam? Is that even still going? I love Monster Jam. <laughs> Can you does it still come when they to co- Des Moines? They come to Des Moines in January. Do they really? Are yes. they really? We should probably go to that. Yeah. We should tickets see if are a, cheap, aren't we should they? see if there's like, a media thing. Just not pay for tickets. Yeah, we. Oh, I bet they they're like let twenty us go. bucks. They're probably the most expensive tickets. From we're a, anybody we're from a media. media we're yeah. an established media group. We're hashtag real journalists. Yeah, I'm, I'm on board. I'll go. I've never been. I'll, I'll go. Is this the I, whole thing? You get I'll, you pay for the I whole went, seat, but you only use the edge. Is oh, that, yes. absolutely. <laughs> Actually, that's bull riding. But yes, <laughs> bull riding. My little sister's in Texas. She sent a video to me of. Uh, somebody bull riding, and I was like, I can already hear the disappointment in my dad's fa- er, oh, voice. On his face. <laughs> you need to see bull riding. It is awesome. They, PBR comes to Des Moines every year, too. Nah, I'm good. I'm going to probably take a hard pass I'm on I'm all that. about this monster truck thing, though. We're, we're doing both. Last time I went to monster truck, I had I was a single-digit age. I've never been. I've never been to a monster truck. I've seen truck. it. I've, I've been to a rodeo, not PBR. Huh. We got we got things to do. We'll work on. I'm this. all about this monster truck idea. Monster right. jam. But they should have. They should totally split the race up and have some crazy fucking halftime show. They should. Why not get mix it up? Try to bring. I mean, Janice what's the, what's the, out there what's the age? What's the age of Jan, She's super dead, man. She's like <laughs> been dead for a long time. Not Joplin, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Janet Jackson. Jackson. There you go. <laughs> also super dead. Is she? Um, you mean socially? Oh, okay. yeah. He means Fair like enough. popularity wise. She's... Have, apparently, T Swift has already been grabbed by Formula One, so oh, we'll have to come God, up with somebody that's else. So stupid. It'll we'll probably be like Carrie even... Underwood or something. It probably like would that. be Carrie Underwood. What's yeah. the average age of a NASCAR viewer, though? Do you know anybody that's in their twenties that watches NASCAR? Nope. They're all in their thirties or forties. I would say forties are old. Forties think... is probably a sweet spot for them. It's it's your beer. Yeah, it's your a... Bud Light drinking forty guys. It's going to be a bunch of creepy Bush old light. guys that would love to see a Carrie Underwood concert at a NASCAR race. But I'm just saying, like, if you bring in Monster and all your bros are like, you know, extreme, hashtag, and they get into it, you know, maybe that's a good, I think it's a good marketing scheme for them. Because the old people, they're not going to give a shit. They don't care. Sprint. Oh, Sprint. They're offended, you know, that Sprint left. Everybody was pissed when uh, um, Winston. Yeah, it was Winston. Winston. People were pissed when Winston left. Understandably. 
it was like an image. It was like a yeah, whole thing. It's a thing. Yeah. But nobody's going to give shit. Cigarettes this. are cool, Sprint's remember? Gun. Does anybody even know that it was sponsored by the cell phone this company? Was, this nope. was a really, <laughs> really quiet news thing. Like, did you guys even see this before I posted it? I saw Steph. I saw I Steph's saw, article. Saw the, That's I all I saw. Topic article. That was the only article I saw. Or huh. no, I think I saw it from Road and Track first. Yeah, it's on. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. But it didn't seem like as big as I thought it would have been. I don't know. Maybe they'll do some monsters got a yeah, maybe it'd be show cool. planned I don't know. with F 18s and machine guns and stuff. Oh fuck yeah. I guess we'll find out. Fireworks. Yeah. What's next, Robbie? So Ram accidentally put Hemi badges on a bunch of V six trucks. <laughs> Ricer. Next. <laughs> Damn it! I, there's I have so many questions, right? I shit happens in the factory floor. I don't understand how you would get this wrong. I really don't understand how you would get this wrong at the dealer. And then somebody bought it, purchased. Like it. I popped the hood. And I'm like, yeah, close enough. Man, Wait a fucking second. I don't know because did every, the v, is the V6 Hemi now? Did I, did I miss something? That's every time probably, I've talked to, I mean, not every time. Most times I've talked to a car salesman. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, oh yeah, the car salesman. Thing, I'm not worried about the, the sales buyer. Thing. Yes, but if he tell if he, yeah, it's got a Hemi badge. I mean, like, I don't. People are you not going to test drive people it? People are kind of no? stupid too. There's I mean, so much cl- plastic cladding on it. Yeah, you probably I can't even would, tell. I don't know if you would know. I don't think you're going to hear it. it. And the V6s are pretty powerful now. You know. I guess I don't know how many. I, I didn't get a number on how many actually. Yeah, made I it. never could find a number. I'm not journalism I'm, research. I just thought it's hilarious. I was like, this is the this is. Gotta be How long does this go on before somebody goes, wait wait a second, wait a minute. Something's not right here. I just thought it was funny. Like, yeah, come I on. don't have a whole lot to say. I just, like, yeah, I just can't, I just can't kinda, believe it. Kind of dumb. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's pretty dumb, actually. They're going to have to have a recall to fix the badge, but like, if you bought the truck, you're up a creek. Like, They're not going to replace your truck with a well, V8. You, Yeah, for sure, because you paid for the V6. It just, just had yeah. a badge on it. Yeah, and this bought, is the cheapest V8 you know, on the, it was, truck I've ever seen. It was on the damn... Uh, ticket yeah, or on the uh, uh, what's that called? Window sticker. Yeah, because it would have been a your VIN number. Said would, yeah, on your it. VIN number would have been a V six. Yeah, so you're just you're a moron. That's My guess <laughs> is that some that anybody That's who the bought that text. knowing it was a V six and seeing the Hemi badge probably decided, oh, they made the V six a Hemi as well. Because I don't think it says Hemi V eight. I think it just says it's just Hemi. Hemi. But I still think maybe you're giving people too much credit. Like, it says Hemi five point seven liter. It does. Yep. No. Oh. It's a big V6. <laughs> Huge V6. <laughs> Massive. Impressive. I've had people ask me if my Dodge has a Hemi in it. I mean, yeah, it's just people it's just are a fucking thing. morons. They're messing with you, though. I know they are, but it's a thing. You I know? don't know, man, because that commercial came out, and everybody was like, hey, man, I got a Hemi in it. Remember that? It was so into the two rednecks, the NASCAR. Yeah, the guys right, that watch a lot of NASCAR, yeah. drinking Bush Light and their fucking dart or whatever it was, and doing burnouts. Hey, man, I got a Hemi. Like, that sounds like us. I don't drink bush light and I don't have a dart. I don't but we do mold. burnouts. Yeah, who doesn't do burnouts? Well, I, I'm no, just apparently we don't do burnouts. We don't do burnouts. <laughs> I had multiple people that messaged me and said that they couldn't believe you turned down a burnout challenge. It's uncivilized. Michael. Uncivilized. <laughs> the fuck? Once you become refined and Josh a connoisseur. Josh did. I think Jabe, Chaz. I like how none of these people came to me. All these people were disappointed. None of these people came to me to talk about these burnouts. because nobody likes you. You should be hurt and offended. You're... You're nobody too, likes you. Wow, it's because wow, it was rude. That was that wasn't even like a burn. This, it was just yeah, mean. You've rude, got sir. this like aura but that you're you're too That's classy rude, for these hey, people. Hey, you fuckers have done that. I have nothing to do with that. It's you two mofos. <laughs> you're 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 too high up in the food chain to to talk to us common folk. Commoners. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Plebes. I don't even know what caviar is. It's fish eggs. It's delicious. <laughs> doesn't sound delicious. It is. My favorite food is sushi. It's delicious. Fish row. <laughs> That's just fish row, Robbie. Caviar is, is very specific. Just look. Just, well, just <laughs> fish row and caviar are two different things. There's a distinction between the two. Fish row? Yeah, it's fish eggs. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing in sushi. Yeah. Yeah, you put it on top of the sushi. Oh, I didn't know that. It's good. It's wonderful. I'll, I'll take my fish cooked. Preferably deep can, fat fried. You can get a deep fat fried sushi roll. It's delicious. That I might be into on, but this Let's raw go. fish thing, I'm fucking it's out. Delicious. The other thing is, live a little. Adam. Sushi's too expensive. You're you are being closed minded, and I you goddamn are, right, I'm being closed minded. <laughs> you need to try it. <laughs> okay, okay, well, try it before you mock it. You guys want to finish this up? I guess. I don't know where we are anymore. Would you buy a 
365 horsepower rear wheel drive V8. Is it V8? No, V6, V6 twin six, turbo. Twin turbo sedan Kia. Kia. Yes. You would? Yes, <sighs> I would. I'm still not sold on Kias having any quality. Turn at up all. the boost. No, I think Kias are plenty quality vehicles. I'm just not mm. sure I'm going to buy it. Turn up the boost. No. I, my question is, who are they trying to sell this to? Uh, you. They're trying to sell it to you. Even. I don't think I. I was being sedan, slightly guys. joking. I. I don't think I would. I don't know that I would buy it though. No, I get it. Not they're, new. They're. They're advertising. Give me one that's the... off lease, and I'm. I'm down. I think this is like an entry level. Entry level Genesis. But the thing, the thing that sucks is they're not going to make the Genesis Coupe the same way that they made it before. Like, it's going to have leather and all this other nonsense. Sedan. No. Well, both. No, the, the sedan's going to They're gonna still be, making a Coupe? I think you can get the Coupe, but only in V6. And then they're going to kill the Coupe if they haven't already. And then they're, they may make a new Coupe, but it's going to be on the same level as the wow. sedan, where it was, you know, it's leather and wood and fake Mercedes on the inside. It's a cheap Aston. Yeah. But it's going to have that motor in it, the twin turbo V6, which is interesting. So I think that this Kia is supposed to be the entry level. Entry, entry? The entry, entry level luxury sedan. It's too many levels, man. It's, it's way down. But the in, all, in all seriousness, like, does everybody have to make like 47 different cars? I mean, think of, look at like, like just Mercedes in the US. They've got like these. They've got crossover Mercedes SUVs. Line is so fucked they've, up. Got, they've got crossover SUVs, and then they've got these weird SUVs that are supposed to be like cars. You know what I mean? Like they have these weird trunk looking things on them, and then they've got a small SUV and a mid size SUV, and they've got a big SUV, and then there's the G Wagon. And it's like, do you need that many different types of SUV? Why does everybody think they have to make so many goddamn cars? People buy them. They, people must buy them. Or else he wouldn't be making them. Like, like now you can get an A five with four doors. Why? 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 Yeah, I could get why? that before. It was called the A six. Exactly. Why do we need this? I saw an RS six this or an RS five this week. Was it super sick? Ugh. It's so bad when you see one because you want it. Giant fucking Brembos, carbon discs. You just want to lick it. Damn. You just want to lick it. I do not understand your Audi obsessions. It was. I never will. It was tan. I was like, that's a bummer. I was like, they even do this? Red, sir. Give Come me a on. red one. I want a red one. Literally any color but beige. What the fuck? I can't even, yeah, I can't. Did you custom order a beige one? I don't know. It had Voss and wheels on it. It was a very expensive car. Huh, bizarre. Maybe so he had a painted. Asian student. Maybe he's crazy. He's a madman. He had a painted beige. I don't know. It was parked next to an E63 AMG. Yeah. Expensive welcome, stuff. Welcome to Ames. Welcome to Ames. Doesn't like make any sense. There's a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of car sitting here, and and that's a 1995 Toyota Camry sitting Hell next yeah. to them. That is a five hundred dollar car all day right there. <laughs> college things. Yeah, I can't relate to that. That's not how my college. No, went. you had the five hundred dollar beater car next. That's to, not true. You had the twenty five hundred dollar beater crossover. Uh, Toyota Rav Four. That's a beater crossover. It wasn't a beater. It's fucking. At three hundred awesome. and some odd thousand miles on it. It's called a reliable quality. <laughs> you want to know quality. how trust fundy I was? I had an A6 and a GTI <laughs> in college. You are not helping your case. I know. At I was all. just thinking about I it. Like, a, man, that's pretty lame. That's all right. I had a Cavalier with Lambo doors and a body kit. So Hell yeah. Whatever. I'd much rather have Fuck the Lambo so doors. so dope. <laughs> you guys want to wrap this up? I yeah, you got, you got some place to be, Robbie. Robbie shuts us a big down. rush or something. Robbie's always the one like, hey, places hey, to be or something. I have a people bedtime. are enjoying this. There are people listening right now. They're like, Robbie, stop being a hater. No, they're looking this. at their watch going. It, is, it has been over an hour and 23 minutes. This is the minutes. third time they've started this show in, in a <laughs> in portion. A diff- this is a different like, topic. This Christ, is topic number 47. Going. Do these fuckers shut up at home? <laughs> Do they talk like this to their significant others? Yes. No, I actually don't. Absolutely no. Do you have a significant yeah, other go on. to talk to? Shut up. <laughs> Everybody can shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, so we can shut this down, then you can talk to us. Uh, what? what? No, I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to have to talk to you. Have a go to the store. Conversation about my personal life. Follow go to us the store. on Facebook. Go to Follow Facebook. us on Instagram. Talk to us about things. Go to our website. Tell Robbie you derailed the show at the end. We hit an hour 23 and I'm done. You're done? Yep. It, Robbie's timer I went off. I think we're past that. I know we are. All right. See, we say that, then we're not. (laughs) We'll be like an hour 19. Whatever. Let's wrap it up. See you guys next week. Can't wait.
None of that stupid emoji shit. I fucking hate that. Yeah, I almost got that fucker that was on our page that liked our... What? They, they the liked guy our, that liked the drive drive post? Yeah, he's like, wow, it's a great picture. Amazing. Your content is... To, I was like... I was a screenshot of our drive drive? I was busy, and I was like, I'm going to get that fucker later, and then I forgot about I'm it. I'm going to come back to you. You, you s- just wait. You stay there, bitch. <laughs> Coming for you. 